Yes, I can hear you. Hare Krishna. Are you ready to arrive right now because I know that you are to give the greetings to the devotees who have finished the course of Bhakti Shastra? Is it okay now? No, I, I can't show that I, because because your class. I told them, I said I have to give class to uh, Kamchatka devotees. Kirtida, can you hear me? Kirtida? Kirtida, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. How how long do I have? How long we have to? One hour. One hour. Okay. Okay. Om namo bhagavate vasudevaya. Om namo bhagavate vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Maharaja, sorry, can you please switch on your video? Sorry, I couldn't hear what you said. Could you please switch on your video? Oh, switch on my video, okay. You got it? Not yet. Oh, the 
You got it? Thank you. Yes, we got it. Thank you. Oh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pistaya Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namane Namaste Sarasati Devi Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paschacha Desatarine Vancha Kaupa Tarubhyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Patita Nam Pavane Vyo Vaishna Vibhyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So today is the first anniversary of the bringing of the deity Shri Shri Nittai, Nittai Goranga Nittai Sachi Sutta What's the name of the deity? Gornitai? Nittai Sundar Gornataraj. Nittai Gornitai? Shri Shri Nittai Sundar Gornataraj. Shri Nittai Gornataraj. Okay. So today is the first time for one year they have been there in Kamchatka first taking your service and it's a very wonderful service to do to serve the deity the devotees who are engaged in doing service for the deity are the most fortunate souls because they are directly serving the supreme lord Srila Prabhupada liked to see the deities worship nicely. Whenever he would come to visit the temple, he would first of all come to see the deities and offer his obeisances, and he would look to see how we were taking care for the deity. There was one temple in USA in the city of Atlanta where they had nice Gornitai worship there and when Srila Prabhupada came there he experienced awake, awake, an awakening of bhava by just seeing the deities. So coming to see the deities can be the impetus for the awakening of our love, pure love for Krishna, or Lord Chaitanya. So at that time, Srila Prabhupada had the devotees sing the song Parama Karuna Pahudvijana Nitai Gaur Achandra. That of all the, all the Lord's incarnations, the most Merciful are Gor and Nitai, or Sri Nitai Goranataraj, as you call them here in Kamchatka. Sabha Avatara Shira Shiromani Kevala Ananda Kanda. Yes, Gaur and Nitai are very, very merciful. These two lords, Gora and Nitai Goranga, they're very, very merciful because they are giving to everyone love of God. 
большинства говорили, они очень милостивы. Есть два Бога, Гаура и Нитай. Они всем дают любовь к Господу. Who could imagine that Gornitai would come all the way to Kamchatka to deliver the, the souls there in Kamchatka? They brought the Sankirtan movement, they brought the holy name, and they brought Krishna Prem to distribute freely to everyone. <laughs> Srila Rupa Goswami would, Rupa Goswami was one of the main followers of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and he along with Sanatan they were both sent to Vrindavan and they were told to establish temples with the worship of the deity. Sanatana Goswami established the Radha Madan Mohan temple. And Rupa Goswami established the Radha Govinda temple. But they also wrote many books, and Rupa Goswami wrote one book which is very famous and which we use in our Krishna consciousness movement, and that is uh, the Nectar of Devotion, as Srila Prabhupada called it, although it was originally called Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. <laughs> So Rupa Goswami has listed the different qualities of Lord Krishna and he has explained that there are, there are five qualities which are unique to Krishna, which are not found in Lord Vishnu or in uh, Lord Shiva or Lord Brahma. So, so one of these qualities is that the beauty of Lord Krishna. And, and we see that beauty manifest in the Lord's deity. We call the deity the Archa Vigraha that the deity is actually an incarnation of the Lord, that he descends in the form of the deity. Haribo? Haribo? Kirtida? It seems problems with connection. Huh? No connection, huh? Yeah. yeah, now you're back. Yeah. Okay, now we got disconnected. Yeah. Must be very bad weather there, I think. So I was explaining that. The deity is an incarnation of the Lord. All right. there, are, there are different inc different kinds of incarnations. For example, there's uh, Lila avatars, there's Shaktavesha avatars, there's Purusha avatars, Guna avatars, Yuga avatars, but there's also the Archamurti, that's also an avatar. So it, it's, 
the mercy of the Lord that he will appear in the material elements. The deity, of course, is made from material elements. But these elements become spiritualized when the Lord descends and enters into the deity form. So we should, un we in Krishna consciousness, we understand the deity to be directly Krishna. Just as the holy name of Krishna is not different from Lord Krishna, the deity is not different from the Lord. And who, who, are, who are these two lords? With the Parama Karuna Pahu Dvijana, Nijai Gorachandra, that these two lords are very, very merciful. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is described to be the most merciful of all of Krishna's incarnations. And Lord Nityananda is even more merciful than Lord Chaitanya because Lord Chaitanya was going to kill Jaghai and Madhai, but Lord Nityananda pleaded with Lord Chaitanya that in this age you must be merciful. So Lord Nityananda's mercy is even greater than the mercy of Lord Chaitanya. In a similar way, we say that the spiritual master, because the spiritual master is the representative of Lord Nityananda, the spiritual master is more merciful than Krishna. By the mercy of the spiritual master, we get the mercy of Krishna. So we need to get that mercy from Lord Nityananda, who is the original spiritual master. Lord Nityananda is Balaram, and Lord Balaram is the original spiritual master. Lord Balaram shows all of us how to serve Lord Krishna. And so in the same way, Lord Nityananda, he shows all of us how we should serve Lord Krishna by preaching to the fallen souls, and by being merciful in distributing Krishna consciousness everywhere. Srila Prabhupada. So when Srila Prabhupada was in installing deities, he encouraged the devotees to bring deities of Chaitanya and Nityananda. He said these two lords are very merciful and they can help to empower us to distribute Krishna consciousness even in the most difficult situations. So deity worship is an important part of our devotional service. The five, there, there are five items which are very important and they're all included in our morning program. 
поклонение Божествам является важной частью преданного служения. И существует пять пунктов, которыми я каждое утро включаю. Right. First of all, hearing the Srimad Bhagavatam and then associating with devotees and chanting the holy name, residing in a holy place and worshipping the deity. Srila Prabhupada has described the worship of the deity in the nectar of devotion and he has given us the list of all the different offenses to be avoided. Which the most important offense is to forget Krishna. So the, the most important regulative principle of all regulative principles is to always remember Krishna and never forget him. So when we come to the temple and we see the deities, then we are immediately reminded of Lord Krishna. When we come to the temple, you are inspired to perform kirtan, and of course there is also kata, talks from the scriptures, and then there's also prasadam, offering of nice foodstuffs to the deity. So, I hope you're having a nice feast today for the deities to honour them on the, period, the anniversary of their appearance there, you should make nice preparations and offer them for the pleasure of Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda. Lord Chaitanya liked very much to take prasadam and Prabhupada said, Lord Chaitanya would not take prasadam in a small quantity. Lord Chaitanya liked Kirtan also. Every day they would do Sankirtan, Lord Chaitanya would chant and dance. And then after chanting and dancing, then Prasadam. Our main program in Krishna consciousness is to chant and to dance and take prasadam. It's not, it's not very difficult. It's, it's very easy, very easy. But by doing, by doing these simple activities, we get the greatest benefit. Srila Prabhupada gave us certain principles to follow in worshipping the deity. He said we should be very clean and we should be very punctual. These two things are very important, cleanliness and punctuality. So cleanliness, we, of course, we, we wear devotee clothes when we worship the deity. We wear dhotis and, we, we, and saris, and we also bathe and put on tilak, mark our bodies with the sacred clay, tilak. Чистота – это значит, что мы надеваем вашу 
Но, конечно же, мы принимаем омовение и носим телоку специально длинное. But we also can clean ourselves. We can clean ourselves internally by chanting the holy name. Lord Chaitanya has told us in the Shikshastikam, Chaito Darpana Marjanam, that we should cleanse the mirror of the mind through Sankirtan, through the chanting of the holy name. So deity worship is a very important part of our program. We worship the deity nicely and Krishna will be pleased and Krishna will send more and more people to take part in Krishna consciousness. It's very nice to see that so many of you have gathered there today in Kamchatka to take part in the program. It's very good. This is a sign that Krishna consciousness is very alive and anxious there. So, Rupa Goswami gives an interesting example when he talks about worshipping the deity. He, he, warns, he, he warns the devotees that when you go to see Govinda, that after you see the form of Govinda, who is adapted playing on the flute in a threefold bending form with lotus eyes, whose head is bedecked with peacock feathers. So when we see the beautiful form of Krishna, then we will lose our desire to enjoy material life in the form of family and society and friendship. So he's, Rupa Goswami saying, don't look at Govinda, but we're, we're coming to see Govinda. We're, we want to see Krishna. We want to see Govinda. And when we see Govinda, the result of seeing Govinda is we will never want to enjoy material sense gratification. So we don't see Govinda just with our material eyes. We have to see Govinda. We have to open our heart to see Govinda. And we should make a nice seat for Govinda in, in our heart. We should clean our heart carefully so that Govinda can sit comfortably in our heart. In the same way, Rupa Goswami also says, don't hear Srimad Bhagavatam. Srimad Bhagavatam is the ripened fruit of the Vedas. But Rupa Goswami said, if you hear Srimad Bhagavatam, you will lose your interest in economic development and sense gratification. Mm. 
Do you want to lose your interest in economic development and sense gratification? I hope so. I hope you do. That's good if you do. So the, so the, the proper way to lose our interest in economic development and sense gratification is simply by hearing scriptures like Srimad Bhagavatam. Hear very carefully. And you should hear for a, you should hear for a long time. And the more you hear, the more carefully that you hear, the more you will be purified. Now in the twelfth chapter of the Bhagavad Gita, twelfth chapter of Bhagavad Gita means devotional service. Lord Krishna is describing the, dif the difficulty with the path of impersonalism. Right. The verse is Klesho Dikataras Tesham Avyakta Sakta Chaitasam. Right? Uh, for those whose minds are attracted to the unmanifested, impersonal feature of the Supreme then advancement is very troublesome. This, this is an important verse in the Bhagavad Gita, a verse which is often quoted to show us that the trouble which the impersonalists go through and how it's much better to take the path of personalism. The devotees, we're not impersonalists, we're personalists. So Srila Prabhupada describes about deity worship and how deity worship can be compared to a post box, just like, you know, before, before the internet came out, we would send letters by mail and there would be a post box and put the mail inside the post box and the postman would come and take the mail and the mail would be transferred to the person who was addressed on the envelope. Nowadays we call that, we refer to that system of sending mail as snail, snail mail. The snail is a little creature which moves very slowly. So snail mail, when you send a letter by snail mail, it takes a long time to reach. But still the system is very effective that you send a letter and it will be it will reach the the uh, the person who you're sending the letter to after some time. So in the same way we, we worship the deity and whatever service we're offered to the deity, that will also go to Krishna. Right. 
доходит что-то до Кришны. Что мы предлагаем Марсам, то Кришна принимает. Because, because the, the deity is authorized, just like the post box, in order for the letter to be delivered, the post box has to be authorized, it has to be recognized by the, by the post office, that this is our post box, that we take the letters from here and we will deliver them. In the same way, the deity has to be authorized, it has to be authorized by the acharyas. We don't just put deities here, we don't just organize, arrange our own deity, whatever shape, whatever form we like, and say, this is my deity. You, we have to do everything according to scriptures, not by mental speculation or concoction. But worship of the deity is, is very effective in helping us to make spiritual advancement and to get free from material desires. When we come to the temple, maybe you come to offer, to, offer, to do some service for the deities. Some people will come to cook for the deity. Some people will come to do the puja for the deity, maybe offering our tea, and other people may come to clean the temple, also for the pleasure of the deity. We want, we want to please, we want to, we want to, huh? could you please switch on your camera? Sorry? Could you please switch on your camera? Switch on my camera? It's on. Could you please switch your cameras off participants? Switch it, switch it off. We, we, we have asked the other divorces, the other participants to switch their camera off. But you, Guru Maharaj, could you please switch it on? I have my camera on. I can see other people. <laughs> I saw myself just now. I don't know how you can, you can't see me. <laughs> So we can sit, we can still hear you, that's very happy. Dr. Mahraj, can you hear us? Yes. Shall we continue? Okay, you can hear, okay, so we're talking about deity worship. It's very important process. We get a lot of purification. So I encourage all of you who are qualified to take up deity worship. And the deity worship which we perform in the temple is of a higher standard than you will ever be able to do at home. So it's much better, Prabhupada liked us to come to the temple and do deity worship rather than to just do it in our own home. You do deity worship at home. It won't be so regular, it won't be done so carefully, but you come to the temple, 
it's a much higher standard. And you have a nice temple room here. You have everything, you have all facilities to do nice deity worship. Here in Mayapur, we have, we have some nice, very nice devotees who have been serving the deities for many years and they have become so pure just because they are so fully absorbed in serving the deity. As Srila Prabhupada would personally come and install the deities in different temples. And he would instruct the devotees about how to keep the standards. Once the deity is established, then the deity worship should continue. It should continue for, for, for many, many generations. Now you're worshipping the deity and in the future maybe your children will worship the deity and then their children will worship the deity like that generation after generation. They should continue to worship, to keep the worship going. In, in Navadweep, if you go on the Parikrama here in Navadweep, you know, we go to visit the different places around Mayapur and we hear about the different pastimes which took place on the different islands around Mayapur. So there's one place called Belpakur. Belpakur, and there's a beautiful deity of Madan Gopal there. And it said that deity was being worshipped by the by the, the the family line of Lord Nichan, Lord Chaitanya's ma mother. Lord Chaitanya's mother was Sachi Mata. So Satchimata's father was a, a great astrologer and a very well-known Brahmana pundit. His name was Nilambar Chakravarti. So this Nilambar Chakravarti, Lord Chaitanya's father-in-law, he used to, he, he used, oh, not his grandfather, Lord Chaitanya's grandfather, right? He used to worship that deity of Matangopal. That deity had been in their family for nearly 1,000 years. And there, there are other deities also who have been worshipped for many hundreds of years. So here in Chamkatka, you've, you're worshipping Gornitai. This has been one year so far. 
Uh, it's not the one year, it's several years. Oh, several years, is it? Really? How many years? Yes. Well, I have not, I've not been there for a couple of years, but when I was there two years ago, we didn't have the temple. We didn't have the temple. There was no temple. Uh, two years ago, but the, the, we had deities. I know they, the deities, but that time, that time the deities were being worshipped by Paramatma Prabhu. Yes, that's true. They were in the, in the Danta. In the Vedanta, they, we, we awakened them on Sundays only. And now they're in the new temple. Yes, so they've come to the new temple. That's what I meant when I meant the one year. I'm talking about the new temple. One year. The actual worship of the deity began one year ago when you brought it to the, when you brought them to the temple. Before that, they were being worshipped, but the standard wouldn't be thought the same. Now, now they're much happier, they're in their own temple. So Prabhupada liked that we had temples, he thought we should have our own temple, and then that's a nice place to have our programs. Do we still have a restaurant there? Yes, it's still here. How is it doing? Is it all right? Successful? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. People come here and they can have a Very nice. Yeah. Very wonderful. Kamchatka, become a holy place. Can... Yeah. Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nichananda are there. So it's a holy place. And so many devotees are also coming now to do service. Okay, are there any questions? Anybody has any problem? Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, thank you very much for your lecture. I'm very glad. We're very glad to hear to see you. I'm very glad to see all of you. From what the purification begins? Sorry? From what, does purification, from what does purification begin? Purification begins when you start to chant Hare Krishna. As soon as you start to chant the Maha Mantra, then your purification has begun. When, and when you start to become serious about practicing Bhakti Yoga, you start to be a strict vegetarian and you start to read the books like Srimad Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita, then your purification really accelerates, it becomes very fast. So this is, of course, all of these activities come about by association with devotees. Without the association of devotees, we won't do these things. It's the devotees who bring the seed. They bring the seed of Krishna consciousness. They teach us how to chant 
and they show us the deity, and they give us prasadam to eat. Any other question? Have you had many devotees come to visit there in the last year? So most of the association you get is on the internet. There is a question, Guru Maharaj. Huh? There is a question. Yes, what's the question? Can we use a photograph? Photograph of temple deities at home, for example, and worship uh, them in that way. For example, offering Nigeria to them. Well, it's not usually done that way. There has to be a very good reason why you cannot personally come and worship the deity. For example, the uh, spare time from worshipping. In our spare time from worshipping in the temple, from worshipping deities in the temple, can we use their photos at home? Well, you can. You can use their photos at home, but it's not the same as actually worshipping the deity. You know, to, 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 some, sometimes people want to do the puja in their mind, within their mind, they'll do manasa puja, you know, and they, they say they will do the worship of their shaligram in their mind. So that's, that's a very difficult thing to do. You have to be very, very advanced to be able to do that. Некоторые говорят, что они занимаются манаса пуджи, то есть поклоняются божеству в уме, например, говорят, что я поклоняюсь шелограмму в уме, но это очень сложно. Чтобы этим заниматься, нужно быть очень продвинутым. Unless you're very, very advanced, we shouldn't be trying to worship in our mind. Если пока вы не достигли этого уровня, вы не должны стараться поклоняться божеству в уме. Of course, you may, you can make your offerings to the picture of the deity, but we shouldn't think that because you make the offering at home, that the deities in the temple don't need to be fed. Yes, I said that you may make offerings to the photograph of the deity in your home. But still, you have to offer to the deity in the temple. The deity in the temple, they're different from the, the photograph. You can worship the photograph. It doesn't mean that the deity in the temple doesn't have to be worshipped. 
Божеслав Храме это не одно и то же, что и фотография. Вы можете поклоняться фотографии Божеств дома, но это не значит, что храмовые Божества должны остаться без поклонения. We bring, we bring the deity here, we invite the deity here, we have to make arrangements to worship the deity regularly. It's nice you're worshipping the photo photograph of the deity in your home, that's nice, but still the deity worship in the temple has to go on. Yeah, you can come and see me, of course. <laughs> Please give us our blessings. Uh, yeah, I'm also willing to come there, I just don't know when. It, you know, because of the situation with the COVID and lockdowns and so many problems with immigration, it's not very easy for me to come there. Usually I would come when I was in North China. I would come from North China into Vladivostok and then from Vladivostok to Kamchatka. But now with the COVID, China has been closed and it's very... We don't know when it will open. Everything's closed. Even we have Chinese devotees here who can't get to China. So I can't get to China. There's no tourism in China. So, even to get to Hong Kong, I can't get to Hong Kong, and I don't know about getting a tourist visa to come there. Difficult. But after, maybe after some few years. Я обычно приезжала на Камчатку, я обычно приезжала сюда из Китая, то есть сначала в Левосток, потом на Камчатку. Теперь я даже не могу в Китай попасть. Сейчас нет туризма в Китае, и сейчас китайские преданные находятся в Майпуре, которые также не могут попасть обратно, вернуться обратно. Может быть, когда ситуация изменится через несколько лет? And he's in Moscow now. He's in Moscow. Huh? Does he come? Was he coming back? Come check that. Will he be there? Yes, he will be. He will come. 
So my best wishes to him. All right. So thank thank you all very much. Very happy to have the opportunity to speak to you. And I hope to, and I hope to see you very soon. I don't know. Let's see what Krishna arranges. If it, Krishna opens up everything, then certainly I'd be happy to come there again. I didn't have the chance to see the temple yet. I saw I was coming to Kamchatka for several years. There was no temple. And now you have the temple. Now I don't get to come to Kamchatka. <laughs> So I'm very unfortunate, but you're, you're very fortunate souls. Because you have the temple and you have the deities and you have the restaurant and you, you have so much opportunity for service. So please continue, please keep up the service. And keep Lord Chaitanya, Lord Nityananda happy. Srila Prabhupada ki. Go back to Vrinda ki. Hare Krishna.